As you know, on this Thursday, this morning, some scattered strong storms, most of those to the west of the metro. This next batch building in from Illinois, where, by the way, it produced 80 mile an hour winds and several tornadoes. Will this thing, this next line, rapidly weakening as it's now rolling through our region? The skies have certainly darkened, but the thunderstorm complex looks very, very discombobulated. I think the weakening trend will certainly continue. Matter of fact, here's the latest radar, and you can see some locally heavy rainfall, a little bit of thunder and lightning from Charlestown, Sellersburg, down to near New Albany, back through Floyd County, now right around Corridon and points off to the south to near Brandenburg. Let's pull out, take a look at the entire viewing area. Look how rapidly that line fell apart, and we were expecting this. We simply did not have the fuel or the instability to keep these showers and storms going. Some great, great news. Notice how they are a little bit more intense the farther west you go along the Ohio River from Owensboro, Henderson, Evansville. That's where there is a little bit more instability in the atmosphere, but in our region, yes, they will continue to weaken. Want to show you the wind gusts, and typically what I look for here as far as a severe wind gust is concerned, the brighter shades of green. Now this is way up in the atmosphere, so that's why you're looking at all this. But as you get closer to the actual line, we don't have those bright greens. So that's telling me the severe wind gusts are really starting to come down. And a lot of this is now sub severe. And I think that trend will continue. Having said that, National Weather Service continues to have this severe thunderstorm warning in effect until 515. This does include you folks in Breckenridge County, the Hardensburg area, immediately north of Litchfield, over to near E-Town and Radcliffe, Radcliffe that is, for the potential for 50 to 60 mile an hour winds on an isolated basis. As we go up into the Louisville area, yeah, a little bit of rain coming into the western in, end near the Portland neighborhood, the Shawnee Expressway, and then that heavier rain up in Clark County. But the warnings that were in effect for a good chunk of southern Indiana have now expired or been canceled as this line continues to fizzle. Here's a look at your future cast, and boy, that's really got a great handle on the line weakening as it rapidly tracks off to the southeast. And then later on tonight, we'll have a chance for a few more storms popping up. Any of the stronger cores overnight could have a little bit of hail, so that's something I will be watching. Hey, there's the severe thunderstorm watch. This will likely continue to be chiseled away rapidly early this evening from northwest to southeast as the severe threat is now waning. So strong to severe storms, we have them right now. They are weakening. Any of the heaviest cores the next hour or so, a scattered damaging wind gust cannot be ruled out. And then we'll get more scattered storms in here late tonight. And Rick Jennifer, a few of those could contain some hail, something I'm watching. We'll talk more about that. We'll talk about this horrible air quality we've mm. had and look ahead to the long upcoming holiday weekend. That's all next on your seven day. But some good news. Yeah. This line is weakening and weakening fast. Good. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Jen.